No, she's not a ghost. Did you try and bite someone? No, of course not. And you'd be able to smell if she was a werewolf? She's not a werewolf. Also what then? She made me feel things. What things? Feelings. She made you feel feelings? Yeah. What a bitch. Let's just stick her anyway. Alex, what happens if she's, uh, you know, a sucky boss? What, really? Like that Yvonne bird? Tom, did she try it on with you? No, of course not. But well, she made you feel feelings. Tom, she's just a human. You just got the horn for her. I do not. I like Alison Larkin. <laughs> you can fancy more than one person. Is Alison even your girlfriend? Yeah. No. I don't think so. Anyway, I haven't got a horn for anybody. Well, then let's find out, then, shall we? Oi! You get him! <clears throat> Over here! Alex. Hey. He's cute. Pretty mince bond. No. Do you know what? I, I, I don't think she can see me. What? Alex! <laughs> There was a cat, it just come from there then. It's gone now. Did you say Alex? Yeah, it looked like an Alex that the cat did. Tom's got a crush. I don't even know what. You seriously never had the whole crazy at first sight thing before? Yeah, we were Alison, but she was a werewolf. Your heart and your pants have conspired to totally cut your brain out of the equation, am I right? Yeah, it's not just a wolf thing. Yeah, but she's not the one. Sorry? I can't do the whole pants thing because Alison's the one. I have to be certain. I have to think of the future. McNair said. Tom, I wouldn't want to contradict anything McNair said, but quite frankly, that sounds like balls. You and Alison aren't together. You might be again one day, which would be great, but until then, this is just what people do. You're not sure if they're the one, if that is even a thing, so you test the water. And then if your feelings are strong enough, then you take a risk. Take a risk. Take a risk. How? Chef said you might be in here. I filled out my form, so... What are you doing down there? I'm so very, very sorry. Bloody hell, you're right. Do you need a doctor or something? No. Thank you. If you'll excuse me. I so. I'm trying to find this girl. I was told that she was uh, around here earlier on this morning. I was here, that's got to count for something. I don't mean you any harm, but my priority must be the hotel. All right, fine. I stole some cash from his boss when I was a kid. But trust me, that money was dodgy to begin with. I'm straight now. I've been straight for ages. Stop it! I don't need to know. Please. I really need this job. I'm sorry. I'll make sure you're paid for the rest of the week. It's my hand, isn't it? You must have it bad if you want me out this quickly. I know what withdrawal looks like, and you're in the worst of it. Huh? The mirror? You would have noticed if you weren't out of your scone. You know what I am? I've been around you a lot before. And why the hell aren't you running away? You're not like the others. I'm worse than the others. Tom trusts you? Tom's an idiot. I don't reckon. Anyway, look at you. You're killing yourself trying to do the right thing. Is it really just that? It's not even that deep.
Can you wet your gloves? I can almost taste it. It's why you need to go now. I'm sorry. All right, fine, so I go. Then what? Chef nicks a finger in the kitchen, you fire her. Some guest gets a paper cut and you turf them out. If this is sending you over the edge, then it's going to happen anyway, and you're going to hurt someone. <coughs> don't you think I know that? You don't scare me. Look, I can help you. If you let me stay here, if you protect me, I'll let you drink from me. I beg your pardon? Just enough so you can control it, so you don't hurt anyone. I know what you're offering. Well, I know what will happen if that guy catches up with me again. Please. We can help each other. You won't hesitate. I won't hesitate. They're not there. What are people going to see if you do that? Natasha! Hello there. Hi. Hi. So, um, big first day at work. Well tiring, I bet. Not that you look tired. What I'm saying is, you must be thirsty. Hungry. What am I actually trying to say? Do you want to get something to eat? What? My shout. As a thank you, you know, for the job and that. What now? You want? T Tom? Have I done something wrong? Oh, of course not. Because if you want me to pretend I can see the cat, I can. It's cool, I've had weirder jobs. The cat? Yeah. Alex, wasn't it? Was it a uh, boy cat or a girl cat? <laughs> <laughs> so, food? Yeah, I'm dead hungry. I know the perfect place, actually. Soup du jour. Sounds... sounds good. Yep. I've had that type before. It is good. I can also recommend the... ..the wine. So, Natasha, do you have a family and slash or a pet? If so, how are they? Are they well? <laughs> um, no, I don't. Sorry. You don't have a pet? Nah, or a family. Oh, me either. Oh, really? No one at all? Oh, it was McNair, but he died. Is he your brother? My dad. Well, sort of. Is he a good dad? The best. That explains why you're so nice, then. You really think I'm nice? Well, you are nice. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what I think. Go on, then. 
What about Pet? I bet you've got one or you wouldn't have asked. No, no pets. But I used to really want a bunny rabbit. <laughs> a bunny rabbit? Yeah, this kid had one on the programme that I watched once. But went there wouldn't let me have one. Oh, rubbish, why? Well, where we lived, there were these, I guess, big dogs. Dangerous dogs. The bunny wouldn't have lasted. Let's get out of here. Everyone here is looking at us like we're going to steal something. I thought it was just me. Let's go to the arcade, play video games and scoff ice cream to a sick. Come on. Might even be a stuffed bunny in the claw machine. Yeah, yeah, I'll clean it up later. I left you three messages, look. From Rook's file, Hatch's room, just after the maid jumped. I can't work out what it says. I like taco. Lie with rice. Oh, turns out I still miss food. The real question is, who wiped it off before the police came? What do you think? Well, Hatch, of course. He's got to be involved, but how? How does he...? What's up with you tonight? Oh, no. The kitchen staff ordered a more cure again, didn't they? Hal, I thought Tom's... Hal. You haven't, have you? What? What? No, of course not. It's just I've, I've seen you like this before, like, all steady with the sexy eyes and lack of personal space. Well, I can't be close to you without blood. I thought you wanted this. I do, trust me. I just figured that we were taking things slow. Need I recap the story of the brow of doom? No. You're yeah, right. I shouldn't have, uh... Sorry, I was thoughtless. I'm sorry. <laughs> that kiss was... <clears throat> that was not a kiss that needed apologising for. Well, apart from the bit where I could see the autopsy report of corn my eye. You really are a bit rubbish at this, aren't you? It would seem so. I thought it was dangerous for you to feel too much. But I know how to manage it now. How to keep things at bay. I have to, because... Because if I can't feel, then what's the point? Gonna introduce us to your little friend? Oh, yeah. I couldn't get a bunny. You know sex, yeah? Um, I, I vaguely remember, yeah. A great segue, by the way. You have my full attention. Well, I was thinking, say you find a nice lady and you're ready to pluck your precious flower, how do you know what to do then? Do? Yeah, lot. Do with her and stuff. How, darling? Do you want to feel this one? Tom, surely McNair talked to you about. the birds and the bees? Oh, yeah. Aren't living rough, I reckon I got to know every type of bird in Britain. And McNair taught me how to steal honey from a hive without getting stung out. May I be excused? Absolutely not. But he's 21, I assume there was a grasp of the fundamentals. Tom, don't listen to him. I think it makes perfect sense that you're a bit behind in all this stuff. I mean, once a month, your body goes nuts and you go running round a wood, killing and shagging God knows what. No, I don't. No, what I think Alex means is... perhaps... being a werewolf throughout your adolescence meant that you spent all that...